Good morning, sons and daughters of God. February 22nd, we shall keep the Sabbath day holy. Exodus 28 says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God said the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He placed his sanctity upon this day and blessed it and hallowed it as a day of rest. It is the only commandment in the whole Decalogue that tells who God is. It has a seal. It places God in distinction with every other God. It says, the God that made the heaven and the earth, the God that made the trees and the flowers and that created man. This is the God that you are to keep before your children. And you have only to point to the flowers and tell them that he made these and that he rested on the seventh day from all his labors. The seventh day is a God-given memorial. Pointing to God as the maker of the heavens and the earth, it distinguishes the true God from all false gods. All who keep the seventh day signify by this act that they are worshipers of Jehovah. Thus, the Sabbath is the sign of man's allegiance to God as long as there are any upon the earth to serve him. There are people like, oh, I'll make Sunday my Sabbath. Oh, I'm off on Monday, so Monday's on my Sabbath. You cannot make a day holy. Only God can make a day holy, right? God has given men six days wherein to labor, and he requires that their own work be done in the six working days. Acts of necessity and mercy are permitted on the Sabbath. The sick and suffering are at all times to be cared for. But unnecessary work, unnecessary labor is to be strictly avoided. And the commandment includes all within our gates. The inmates of the house are to lay aside their worldly business during the sacred hours. All should unite to honor God by willing service upon his holy day. So long as the heavens and the earth endure, the Sabbath will continue as a sign of the creator's power. And when Eden shall bloom on earth again, the earth made new, God's holy rest day will be honored by all beneath the sun. From one Sabbath to another, the inhabitants of the glorified new earth shall go up to worship before me, saith the Lord. I hope you have a great day. You are a son and daughter of God.